I got banned from Sizzlers. Right. So, <laughs> some some right, players good... people have not been. Are you wrong. actually gonna play double cross? Okay, I was about to say. I was. Stop playing with my heart, guys. Give me a double plant match. Actually, sometimes when I when I when I play players and they haven't something the characters go to round. I don't know, they don't know if I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so uh, sorry about the delay on this one, guys. I replaced the webcam with the actual camera. So, sets from here on out are gonna look really good. Anyways, I'm gonna mute. Bye, guys. Either way, getting into game one winners finals. Going on to Battlefield. Yeah, not striking a PS2. This is. This is what I, I, I like this stage. It's good for both players. Both get a lot of uh, different resets on the platform. Yep. Back here, good forward air. We'll bring off the stage track to go for his second attempt here to get him off the stock. I really like the uh, the tomahawk attempt from Loombre. Nice, wait. Yeah, I'm not sure about that though. Rolling right into a uh, into Loombre. Back there, gonna get him off the stage. But Razo is really gonna need to adapt to the way of edge guarding Ness. It's like the lower level Ness mains will just air dodge and just attack. Lumbre is a, a player who likes to really just go on, jump up, do a lot of technical things, and then end it with a PK Thunder so he can get that extra damage or shield pressure in. Yeah. So it takes getting hit by it a couple times to really to realize that you have to adapt that way. Nice, hustle it out, and even stalls out the PK Thunder to make the recovery. 0-0 zero, zero right now. I really like this neutral game that Lumbri is uh, still employing. He's just standing back and waiting for you to approach to see what you do, and then whiff punishing. Yeah. And honestly, with, with Nash, right, he has a little bit of cold disjoint, so he's able to do that as well with PK fire, back air, and dash attack. And forward air, just a little bit enough, so he kind of has all these good game plans. Oh, so close there, trying to hit the forward smash, but Raza just gets himself off the stage. PK Thunder, nice. Razo trying to make sure he's not going to get hit by any of other aerials. I love how patient both these players are being. They're really just waiting reactionally to what uh, everyone else is going to do. And sometimes they, they just sit there. Yeah. That's neutral, ladies and gentlemen. Just waiting for your opponent. Nice. Bit spacing on Razo there. And he really gets the drift back and the forward air. Get the turn up. Wait for the play on the ledge, but he missed the opportunity with forward air. Unfortunately, getting caught by the spot dodge. Spot dodge doesn't mean anything to a lingering hitbox. Exactly. You have really good catch with the turnip. I like to see Razo, uh, if he knows that Lumbre is going to go for that PK Thunder, just kind of jump up and do that Toad Cannon like we just saw. I just, hold on, I'm so sorry. Totally unrelated. I did not know your boy SD Garo played Eunice. I didn't yeah, know that's he all played Wall playing. Oh, bro, Pikaman hasn't told you about him? No. Yeah. I haven't seen Chase in a minute. Did, you saw Medivo. Well, yeah, 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 that was a while ago. Shout, shout that was the beginning of the month. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Goodman. Anyways, back to the game here. PK Thunder puts Razo off the stage. Almost in a good space for Rumor to make that forward air. Really good parry. That's going to be important, but the flow cancel fair uh, nair hit to the other side, so Razo wasn't quite ready for it, so he can get his full combo punish. Still, 25% is good. Good damage. All right, gets that double up air. Forward air, nice. Okay, hey, fire. He waits for the recovery here. Good spacing out coming up from Moonbreak. He wants to be able to space himself enough to react to any of those options. Mm -hmm. I really like that get up attack from Raz. A lot of people just neutral get up because oh, they don't see the no. punish. But, yep, neutral air dodge still going to get hit by that. That was uh, the wall of back airs that Ness is able to put out. Then we're going to take game one in this winner's finals. Moonbreak sitting pretty nice in here. Winner's finals game one going to him. And honestly, if if I were Lumbre, this is a pretty good game one to actually start off with, right? Because you want to make sure you're the one to press holy momentum. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking at your boy SD guy, man. Bro, I'm he, looking at him too. I just didn't know he played Eunice. Yeah, that's a, that's really why been, he looks for any excuse to not play Smash. Like, he plays Overwatch. He's been really getting into Uni because he's been looking for, like, a good anime fighter. So he's been grinding Uni for a long time. He really likes that game. It's actually my favorite anime fighter. That's a lot of people's favorite yeah. anime fire. Um, Him and Kikaman keep trying to get me to get into it. Because Type Moon did the character designs, and one of my favorite oh, animes um, is Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, and they did the animation and designs for those characters in there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like it. Yeah. They also did Melty Blood. Yeah, definitely a sick game. You know, for those who enjoy it. But in the way, now we're gonna go to a less good game. Kidding? <laughs> I'm gonna say, hold the phone, man.
It's, it's still a good game, man. We're, we're barely, we're barely I didn't say it was a good game. I'm just saying the power anime isn't in this game. <laughs> it is. Joker. Hey, right. You have an anime? Yeah, Joker. Joker. Dude. Bayonetta low-key, but... Oh, no, no ba sucks. Bayonetta, Bayonetta is a Marvel vs. Capcom character in this yeah. game. Ah, uh, yeah. That's right. I forgot. People are like, I want Dante and Smash. I was like, you see Bayonetta? I'm like, yeah, it was the same thing. There you go. Same creator, too. People don't actually remember that. People just want the guy. Yep. And, and literally for Rosalyn, he just wants the stage. I'm saying. It's like, please, sir, let me come back on the stage. Let me get this back air. Let me try to get this forward air. But unfortunately, I'm only going to miss it. Bloombright trying to make a play in here. Bit of a change from the first game here, because now Raj is just trying to go for a couple more aerials and calling out Rubre a little bit more frantically. Mm -hmm. You see Razo again just doing those slow cancels back. You're backing it up on him a lot more, so uh, Lumbre can't just microspace and get out of the way. He can't react to all of them, you know? Exactly. Good Z drop, and immediately he wanted to go for a back air to see how Lumbre might have go for an out of shield option. That's one thing that Raz is really good at, at punishing is players. Natural neutral habits. People will attempt to go for an out of shield option, like an like a near out of shield, a forward out of shield, and that's what Razo's making the call out. He's making he's literally taking away your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Things that you would refer to as your go-to pick, but unfortunately here for Lumbre, he's trying to make sure he takes care of Razo's stock and he has to dip extra low to survive. Wrong direction of face that forwards man. I think that I'd was say I say that was the wrong uh, that was definitely a mis input in yeah, general. I don't sure. think he wanted F smash. He probably wanted yeah, that turn around down smash. So it's so scary the fact that like slow cancel back here is such is a combo starter because like once you get it you can turn around do it down you can do turn around down tilt because of turn around inputs in this game or you can just do like a flow cancel back here dash attack or just flow cancel back here uh, dare like Razo does a lot. Peach is wild in this game I love it. It's that falling up, up right? air, double up air. Different one of those characters that I tell people still top five that requires a lot of work and commitment. Tell that's the same Sora, bro. Oh. He is furious. He's like, you a bad character after she got nerfed. Before she got nerfed, she's so bad, and, you know. I, I, why does every top player of their characters tell you, like, the character's so bad? Except, for, like. Except, except for MK Leo. Yeah, I was just gonna say, except Leo. Leo's but like, you know, you know Joker is good. That's for Leo's sure. like, Joker isn't great, but I'm great. <laughs> I carry the meta there. I am the meta. I am the meta, exactly. Yeah, Sam Sword's like, well, oh, Peach isn't that good. Every Fox main thinks Fox is not a good character. Watch Louie winning at like top eight and all that stuff. Well, he did get top. No, he got not. Got top eight? Did he get top? Yeah, he, yeah, he got top eight. He lost an arrow in whatever tournament a while ago. But either way, we're about top Nor players. Nor NorCal has that one thing over SoCal right now. What, top, top eight, eight entrance? Yeah, top eight entrance. What do you mean, Void top eight a while ago? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right, Void isn't SoCal. Exactly. But you know who is? Who? Razo and Lubre. Yeah, you're right. You know, who the, you know who's IE right now? Razo and Lubre. <laughs> top three. Hey, you know who's going to get this stock right now? Not IE. Oh, the <laughs> IE, yep. Yeah, he's about to get this stock right now. <laughs> you say that, Razo's uh, kind of been putting this work on. Don't neutral get up in front of me. No, oh, please don't. Respect the neutral get up there, especially with Razo there holding shields and waiting for you. That's kind of a total tech option. And unfortunately, Razo makes a great call out yeah, Lumer against that side stall. Lumer getting really good to trying to get back to the stage. He wanted to get back on his stage and also have an opportunity to get damage, but Razo knew that from a mile away. He just kind of walked away, let him throw out some stuff and uh, throw it at him. No. Yeah, he got him looking this way. Oh, wait. As he got beat uh, Breaker Dave. Let's go. The last time I was here, uh, me and Kikoman had to wait for Vivian because he bracket reset and then he won WNF. So yeah. we, wanted to, we wanted to go to. Did he tell you tell the story? Yeah, we wanted, you told me. We wanted to go to Kings, but then uh, somebody in the carpool just had to. Win. Yeah, you tell me he's like, I didn't get back home till like 4 a.m. That's what happens when like Kikoman and I over someone we would like go to WNF. We take other people, and then him and I wouldn't get home till like 4 a.m. He wouldn't drop me off at my car till 4 a.m. and I wouldn't go and get home till like 5 a.m. I'm hoping that's not what's gonna happen to me because I have Suga, Stanley, and Vladimir in my car today. Yeah, they're all out. Yes, yeah, true. Out slash didn't enter or got DQ'd. But either way. Yeah, one run right now between Razo and Lumbre. That game too looked a lot better for Razo. Yep. Looking much better here, especially overall. 
Yeah, you know, tries to call out the landing with the slow cancel back air, but Moonbrae staying in the air a little bit longer. Nice. What a good punch to throw out there from Rosalie. He doesn't throw out anyone, just make sure it's right in front of Moonbrae's face. Oh, wow. Yep. Just, uh, Moonbrae was probably expecting Rosalie to jump back forward towards the ledge to do an option. He just swung immediately. So the reason why I felt Rosalie was so comfortable going for that option, honestly, it comes down to that turn of, uh, throw upwards, right? He wanted to cover Moonbrae for, for extra low, so he making sure that Moonbrae is going to dive only in one direction by covering the low recovery option mm -hmm. with turn up. What, what was the stage for last game? Was it still Battlefield? Was yes. Still... And these are all safe selections. Really yeah. Solid. And more to them, honestly. I, I don't see enough players for those options. Yeah. I know me personally, I just don't go to Battlefield or FD ever, but I do like that people do it. Knocks out, gets that back air. And back there trading with the with the side magnet. Gets a PK fire immediately. When we're trying to go for a reset, don't really like that option to tire level players that you immediately know where to jump. Although it still is a 50 50. When you talk about micro spacing, that is the definition of a Ventorazzo. Looking to make sure he's going to punish Luber for going for a size top. And honestly, I feel like that's what Rosalind's doing here, is taking away a lot of Lumbre's comfort picks, as we mentioned earlier, right? Like, he's making sure he's spaced enough that Lumbre is a little bit more scared to go for a size stall, so because he got the punish on the last game, he's making sure that Lumbre is scared to go for that extra low recovery because he tosses turn up up. Yeah, that's the second stock again. He threw the turn up up and immediately baited him just to staying right there, so he can just got, kind of fall at him. Oh. Bro, Rosalind's going for something. Speaking of which, so is Lumbre. Fired. Nice. Let's go for the reset again. And, and like I said, Arazo's that player you know just got to jump out of it. So you really want to go for that jump read. But now we got a Mr. Saturn in play. So let's see how good you are at knowing not to shield. I swear, players, they always know, oh, I need not to shield. And then they just hold up for a second, especially for the fact that you can't perfect shield and it's a parry. Wait for it. There it is. That's the third, yeah, the it's third so forward error in that situation in that exact same spot. It's the call out from Rosa. He's making sure that if he's gonna go for it, he, every time he does, he has to worry about getting punished. Let's see, we're going, he's still staying on Battlefield. Call of uh, Kalos. Personally, I'm not a fan of Kalos. I just don't like that stage in general, but it works for a lot of a lot of players. It is that combination of like PS2 and FD. You have the platforms moving out on the side, so you have an extra like mix up for recovery high. And That's it will and it yeah. will mess up like some uh, ledge guard setups for like Snake or Peach where you would throw the turn up up right there but it gets blocked out by the platform. Yeah, that's what I tell people. It's different edge guarding for different characters. Characters like Link, Snake, Peach. Um, characters with overall projectiles in general. They, they kind of have things a little bit differently here on this stage. Nice. Waits for Lumbre to make sure, uh, to see where he's going to go. Yep, Rousey going for that fair game. Lumbre. Kind of was just like mashing something to get out of a tumble. You know, that up air ends up uh, landing anyways. Good grab. He actually misses the tech, but Loombray not really going up with the jab lock setup. We haven't really seen him put in a situation where he'd have to tech, so I don't blame Loombray for not going over for the uh, tech read. He's going to punish the size out here. Wow, just runs up to the raw back air. Honestly, he did a lot more uh, knockback than you expect. Gets that fair. Oh! And I, he's still going to make it. Oh, oh no. Bounce. Yeah, I, he was aiming down for, like, the double bounce. But the fact that it did hit uh, Peach, it reduces it by, like, one-third. So it wasn't even far enough to hit the ledge yeah. or the wall. Kind of a, kind of a solid trailer for Lure because that's what he wants, right? Bring it back to even stocks and even percents. But already Peach at 63%, but here we go, this could be damage. Only goes to the F-Tilt. What I really don't see Peach is doing a lot is uh, go for down throw, like, float cancel back here so you can, like, get another punish afterwards. It's, like, a little tight, but, you know, I, you, you've you seen some Peaches do it, but not a lot. Is that F-Tilt again? Not a move you see much on Peach, but... Really, I, I love that cross up for the uh, forward air. A lot of times, Peach lands in front end. It's not a move that auto can that has a generous auto cancel window. So most of the times, you get a punish. But if you go for a punish in front of you, you just uh, stuck there. The back air sees the cross up nest, tosses and turn up. One more good call out there because he knew he had to have those options for Loombray to make that kind of recovery and then call it out with forward air. Oh, this could be damage, but 
Actually falling out of the second hit of dash tag. I thought that got fixed. Rolling right into the PK fire, so that was that was really good for him to roll into it because he was in the middle of the PK fire and set back the end, so he didn't have as much time to, uh, to SDIL or DIL. out of a disadvantage here. Really even game, but Drowser could take this home and move on to Grand Finals. Good back air. Turn up toss one more time. Ca catching him. I think, yep. I think Lumer wanted to try to catch the turn up with an air, but unfortunately, not good on the timing. And he wanted to make sure he could actually stop the turn up there with Nice Off because he wanted to make sure he was able to avoid it, but unfortunately he did not. That's the one thing that I felt Lumbray did not adjust himself to is Raza's plays off stage with turn up and forward air. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing he that he- saw so yeah. many stocks over for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, although Lumbray did take that first game right after that, that was just a 3-0 sweep from Raza. He was gonna be sitting pretty in grand pot. Hey, 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 yo, Javi. Javi, it was 3-1. You gotta put some respect on Lumbray's name. You remember that game one? You can't even hear me. 